kind of circling back to the topic that we've uh, discussed in the past concerning, you know, Dana White, kind of how he runs things and, you know, whether, you know, how you feel about it, love him or hate him. Uh, something in particular, though, that you and me have talked about is the common man and or the casual UFC fan and or, you know, just a fight fan in general that you would say are the foundation uh, and, you know, the majority of what makes up the UFC fan base. Are they being priced out of events, you know, streaming and or, you know, for the live events? Of course they fucking are, like, man, like... It, okay, let me eat. Let me be easy. Uh, I hate the fact that, like, the casual UFC fan or, like, the... the a fan of MMA or a fan of like a, a fight sports in general, they can't be a part of it because it costs so fucking much money. That's not what built UFC. You know what I mean? And like obviously now they got these uh the the Abu Dhabi shit. You know what I mean? So like they got this uh the crazy money behind them, and it's like they've turned this sport into like a. Like a, oh, yeah, mil- a millionaire's fucking boys club. And I'm like, I don't like it. It sucks. Because I love watching UFC. I love being part of UFC. Um, and MMA in general. And that, we don't have that anymore. Mm-hmm. And like, I guess I can't be mad at uh, Dana White for being that dude. But, like, dude. Like, you were built off of, like, the casual fan of the the dude that wants to like just randomly watch this. The dude that buys the videotapes from Blockbuster, like back in the day. That, that's some old shit. I'm gonna date myself. You know what I mean? We used to watch the videotapes back in back in the day. You know what I mean? Or uh, Pride even. Mm-hmm. You remember that shit? Mm-hmm. So I get it. You know what I mean? You're trying to uh, up the brand, get it. At some point, but like, bro, don't lose the fans that like love it. Like, that's what our shit is. No, I feel you. Yeah, it, it seems like you know with the price of pay per views going up, and um, you know, unless you're getting a fight night card, you know, on some, for instance, the Denver cards, you know, you get Rose Nama Yunus, Ooh. you know. Uh, and <laughs> you know, what I mean, like you get you get that, you know, as your as your main event, you know, at a competitor level, not not you know championship rows. We're talking about you know competitor rows going up against somebody on short notice. Uh, at one point, the fight card only had like eight fights on it. They had to add a bunch of short notice replacements, all that good stuff. You know, and yeah, you were probably looking at, you know, maybe a hundred and, and some change for some seats up top. So if you got any more star power and or you're talking about pay-per-views and or, you know, uh, seasonal marquee events, you know, or a once in a lifetime, you know, a spectacle that's supposed to be this, you know, UFC sphere event. Um, you're talking about a lot of money. And I've also looked at some of those uh, VIP packages, and those things are fucking crazy. I mean, they literally can go up as high as, like, we can just negotiate what that price is. Like, just tell, <laughs> just go ahead and just leave us your email, and we'll let you know what that looks like. Uh, almost like, you know, like, uh, like what is your you star wanna, power? You want a, uh, you, <laughs> you want a ZJ? And the fool says, what's a ZJ? And we're like, you gotta ask, you, you, don't know, you can't afford it, buddy. <laughs> you can't afford that shit if you don't know what it is. You know, so it's just like, yeah, I get what you're saying. They're definitely making it uh, a little bit more uh, exclusive and uh, less accessible to, you know, your common man. And I get it. When you got, you know, rich friends or you got, you know, rich uh enthusiasts you know you want to take care of them but uh definitely you know 
I know that, you know, the folks who were watching Stefan Bonner go up against uh, Forrest Griffin on Spike TV. Oh, shit. Good job. Whoa. Whoa. You know what I mean? Like That's crazy. Those people haven't left. Those people, you know, are still there, or, you know, are like me who, you know, just never quite left the sport. <laughs> Stefan Bonner versus fucking Forrest Griffin. That's what's a wild one. Yeah, so... It's just one of those things where, yeah, I've just noticed, you know, it's it's getting a little expensive to, you know, be a, a UFC fan if you really want to, you know, immerse yourself into uh, the experience, whether it's on TV, in person, you know, uh, expos, all that good stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know, just thought, thought I'd... Uh, talk about that especially with this sphere card coming up and with the crazy price of just like your your least expensive ticket being you so know busy. A f almost like a front row seat you know yeah. at, at the at the next <coughs> or like a floor level seat <coughs> three quarters of a rack you know right, right, right. all right all right bet you know what i mean well let us know your thoughts 